Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hey, Davey, anything interesting with the lineup today? We haven't seen anything yet. I uh, know. Um, everything, uh, Zim will play first base. Josh will play left field. Uh, that's that's about it. I mean, other guys, you know, Ruiz will catch. Um, but every, everything's the same. So uh, that's a pretty big outfield. At this point, you've seen Josh enough to feel comfortable doing that? Yeah, he's doing he's done well out there. I mean, he gets uh, Washington, he gets behind the ball. Uh, his his uh, breaks and fly balls have been really good. So um, he gets an opportunity to go out there. And, then, you know, and like I said, uh, end game, things might change. Uh, but for right now, I like the uh, having him and Zim in the lineup together. Um, we saw Carter for a stretch there start to hit the ball with a little more authority. And then the last week to 10 days, um, not as much anymore. Are you seeing a significant difference there? Or you feel like it's something minor? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I watched some of his at-bats and, you know, I think we, we got to get him to slow his feet down a little bit, a little bit, He's starting to get a little bit long um, with his swing. So I think we just need to get it, slow his feet down a little bit and get him back uh, towards the middle of the field. I mean, like you said, he was hitting the ball really hard there for a while. Uh, we just got to get him back zoned in in the middle of the field and, and shorten his stride and, and, and uh, like his feet moving way too fast. Um, got to get him slow down a little bit. If you think back to like the beginning of the year and where he is now, where have you seen the most improvement? Where do you feel like there's still room to grow? He still, he still has room to grow you know, in all aspects of the game, uh, but he's definitely gotten better, especially, uh, especially at third base. Uh, I'm seeing him move his feet a little bit better. Um, you know, he's, work, he's working to diligently at coming in and getting balls, um, uh, which he struggled with. Uh, he's made some nice plays doing that. Uh, but, you know, he's overall, he, you know, he knows he's got a lot of work to do. Um, but he has gotten better. Like I said, you know, the biggest thing right now is swinging about really well. And now he's just, he got a little long. Um, his stride's a little bit bigger than what, what it was before. So we just got to slow his feet down a little bit. Jeffrey Camarado, LB.com. Hey, Davey. Uh, Mark touched upon the outfield, but for guys that haven't played in this ballpark a lot, like the lights, the it kind of has a different feel to it than like natural lighting. What do you want them to be aware of as they're, you know, chasing balls down in the outfield? He just, uh, he, you know, he has to understand to get back behind the baseball as soon as it's hit in the air, um, play everything out front. You know, the biggest thing, as I told Josh, is make sure that your your head is behind the ball. Uh, when you do that, you know, you got a very good chance to catch, catch the ball. So um, he's going to go out there and get some work with, with, with Bobby uh, during batting practice and um, get, you know, just get kind of used to the, the dark, a little bit darker because it will be a little bit darker out there. And then just go out there. I told him, go out there and have fun. And I just catch, you know, just catch the routine fly balls and get it in as quick as possible. And in terms of these last few weeks, especially on the road, what do you want the team to be able to, um, you know, accomplish and achieve in terms of chemistry building heading into the off season? Yeah, that chemistry has been amazing. I mean, these guys are pulling for each other. The, the energy has been good. Um, you know, they, you know, obviously we want to win a lot more games, but I, I like the fact that they're playing with so much energy and they're playing with passion. I mean, you can see that. Um, there's not there's not many games that we're not in it, you know, uh, throughout the game. So um, they're playing hard. I just want to continue to finish strong and, and keep, continue to play hard. Ray Torres, the athletic. Davey, um, these last few weeks with, with how Bell has been hitting, have you noticed any difference in how Soto's being approached at all? No, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it, it's the same. Soto, Soto, you know, he's going to, he's going to take his walks. Um, he's going to get ready to hit. Um, you know, he's going to do everything he can to help us win. But um, he, Soto has uh, his own approach, which, you know, I love. And, I, you know, I talk, a lot, talk to a lot of young hitters about watching him, um, watching how he gets ready and how he gets ready for every pitch. And funny that you say that I talked to Riley Adams today, and he, he really watches Soto a lot and how he, he gets ready in the batter's box. Um, and he's trying – he's really trying to do the same thing um, when he goes up there to hit. So it's good to see some of these young players watching the guy like Juan, who, you know, every pitch he's, he's engaged, he's ready. Um, you know, he hits the ball hard uh, quite often. But yet the biggest thing, like I told Riley, and just like he does, you know, you, you go up there and you take your walks, get a pitch that you think you could drive, you know, in the zone and be ready for it. And, um, you know, Riley does a good job with that. Riley takes his walks. So uh, but Juan and, and, uh, and Bell, Right now, they're both, you know, Bell's swinging the bat well. He's taking his walks as well, which is awesome, you know, and, and he's only going to get better. And, and I told him that, you know, from – I said this before, from where he started to where he is now, it's been unbelievable. I mean, you know, for me, he's been, you know, one of the best uh, consistent players in the league. 
and and the numbers could, could show that right now. I mean, his OPS is over 800, which is which is amazing from where he started. And his like strikeout rate is like really has really come down yeah. too in the last month. As you have you seen like a difference with? I mean, what's the difference there for him? Well, it's just putting the ball in play. You know, something that I know I mentioned to you guys all the time. I'm not a big fan of strikeouts. You know, you know, and and these guys know that it's emphasized. I know Kay Long talks about it all the time. Six talks about it all the time. And I, I talk about it all the time with them. Move the baseball. You know, that's all I ask you. Move the baseball, especially with two strikes. And, and it's, it's it's a tough spot to hit in. But just put the ball in play. Good things can happen. And uh, and, and our, our whole team as a group has done that really well. Uh, and, and Josh has done it well as, as well. So, and I like that. You know, th- things, things happen when you move the baseball. When it comes to, like, Soto uh, being that, figure for for younger players or for players his age even to follow um he talked a little bit at the beginning of you know right after the trade deadline um about how he felt a little bit of pressure at the beginning and and you know you obviously mentioned like talking to him about that kind of stuff how, how have you seen him take to that these last this last month and a half or so now he's been he's been awesome uh and as you can see he's taken off i mean you know, my biggest thing with him is hey uh, you remember, you, you're going to have a lot of young kids watching you, trying to emulate you on this team. I'm um, just you be you, you know, and just go out there and have fun like you always do, and enjoy the game. You know what? You know, and I, I ask him all the time. You know, what's well, what is it about this game? And he'll tell me. He said, I love it. You know, I love playing. I love everything about it. So I said, just be you. That's all. You, that's all you can do. Thank you. That Abraham, ABC Seven. Hey, Davey, I'm working on a story on a Hispanic Heritage Month, and, and you're one of only three Latino managers to, to win a World Series title. Uh, what does that mean to you to kind of represent, you know, that, that Latin community? It's, you know, it's, it's awesome. It really is. I mean, um, you know, I, it's funny that you say that. The, 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 other, the other two guys, I talked to quite a bit, um, and, and we're, we're pretty pretty close. So, uh, But it, it's awesome. You know, hey, I just, I, you know, I want to just go out there and do my job just like every other manager does. Uh, it was, it was awesome to win, you know, uh, a world series as a, as a Latin manager. Um, but regardless of that's, that's, that's our job. You know, we want to take our team to, to win a world series. Uh, we all understand that. Um, you know, what, what I want to say is that I encourage anybody that, that any Latin that has any, any kind of dreams whatsoever to follow, follow your dreams, you know, and, uh, and, and make it, you know, for them, make it, make it something that's a priority for them. That's something that I did, you know, as a, as a bench coach, you know, when I realized, Hey, I wanted to manage, you know, I, I made it a priority to learn as much as I can about, about the job and then run with it. And, and, uh, and it paid off. Do you get the sense, do you think about, you know, being a role model in the position you are for, for your Latino community? You know, for me, I just want to be the best person I could possibly be. Um, whether Latino, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to, you know, win my day every day and be the best, the best human being I could possibly be every day. Thanks, Davey. Okay. Dan Coco? Hey, Davey, you talk about Josh Bell and the way that he's turned his season around. How challenging is it for a player, especially one that's had success at the big league level, to look up in the middle of May and see their numbers on the Jumbotron every day where Josh Bell's numbers were and put in the type of work to get him to a place that he is now? How, how challenging a process is that, especially mentally? Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Um, you know, it, it, the numbers are there, you know, you try not to focus on them and I, and I try to engage with them, especially early about, Hey, don't worry about where you're at now. Let's worry about where you finish. And I believe that you're going to finish very strong. Um, and just keep pushing every day. Every at bat is different every day. So keep pushing every day. Work good at bats. And by the end of the year, you'll, you'll have your, you know, you'll have your two, two sixty, two seventy, you know, 30 and, and 80 or 90 RBIs, maybe more. So um, don't worry about it. And he's, you know, he, he actually started playing and not, not, not really focusing on the numbers, you know, uh, but it's always there. You know, I, always, I told him, I said, Hey, if you could take away the month of April when I played, um, I would have been one heck of a player. Cause I, and, I, and I'm not going to lie. I stunk in April. And a lot of times I talked to manager, I said, Hey, don't, don't, don't play me in April. Wait till May. And I'll, I'll be, I'll be really, really good. And uh, they laugh and said, no, you got, you got to play in April. So about, you know, I told him, I said, don't, don't look back, you know, keep, 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 keep pushing forward. And he's been great. Uh, I, I tell him all the time, not only on the field, but um, even when he was struggling, he was that guy, you know, every day coming in positive, 
uh, cheering for his teammates, uh, to always talking and saying, hey, I'm going to help you guys. Believe me, I'm going to help you guys win some games. And and uh, his teammates been great with him as well. Even when he was struggling, they would pump him up and said, hey, you know, we believe in you. You're going you're to be fine. And, and, and that's, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, these guys pulling for one another and him understanding, you know, it's a long season. And uh, like I said, he's going to be right where he needs to be. And he's had a tremendous year. Apologies if this is something that uh, the other uh, guys and girls have, have asked you over the last uh, handful of days. But with uh, two weeks left in the season now, Zim has said he doesn't know really what his future holds, if he's going to play another year or not. Do you plan on playing him more over these final couple weeks than you would otherwise? Or is it going to be the same type of a rotation that we've seen throughout the first five and a half months? You know, it, it, honestly, it, it all depends on Zim. You know, my, bi- my, you know, my biggest goal was to keep him healthy. Um, you know, knock on, knock on wood. <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Um, so, I, you know, it's, a, it's just based on conversation with him and how he feels. You know, obviously today we got a lefty. Tomorrow we got a lefty. Um, we'll see how we we'll see how he feels. Uh, but he, you know, once again, you know, here's another guy that's he accepted his role, which was a lot different than what he's used to, and uh, has done really, really, really well doing it. So um, I don't know what his plans are. He's been very quiet about it. Um, you know, he, he just tells me every day he's going to take it day by day. And um, so uh, you know, we'll talk more about it probably when the season ends. But. He's been great. And, you know, if I could play him, as you know, I'll play him. If not, then he's been doing a great job coming off the bench and getting us those, getting those, those uh, big hits. Thanks. And Marie Torres, the athletic. This is pretty random. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to best translate the, the phrase meter mano. And all meter I can think mano. of, meter mano. And the only thing I could think of is bust my ass. But is there another way to say that? What I'll say, bust my ass. Um, <laughs> But, you know, met, 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 the, met the motto f- for me, honestly, when you, when they say that is basically to play hard. Um, that, and that's what they, they want to do. You know, all, hey, they're all in. Right. All hands are all hands on deck. Everybody in. To me, that's what that means. But, uh, but I like I like I like your interpretation a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be as literal as possible. But I, but I think I might use yours. <laughs> Thank you. OK.